our 2022 Ford Bronco Raptor. And we're gonna be doing some tuning today with the Whipple Superchargers calibration. Yeah, baby. Woo! All right. We got some awesome results with the Whipple calibration, guys. Bronco Raptor content, guys. Here we are, we're on our way down to Palm Beach Dino with our 2022 Ford Bronco Raptor. And we're gonna be doing some tuning today with the Whipple Superchargers calibration. Uh, recently, I was actually out there in Fresno, California at Whipple Superchargers headquarters where they had an awesome looking Bronco Raptor there. They were starting to do some calibration work on it. Now, everyone's like, hey, when are they gonna crack the code? When are they gonna have access? Are they able to tune? You can't tune these Bronco Raptors well. In fact, Whipple Superchargers does have access and the ability to tune these, not only tune the PCM, but also the TCM for transmission changes. So I was out there with uh, Dustin and Nick and they're working with another calibrator of theirs that works at Ford to build these calibration files and do some testing. Unfortunately, I had to leave early so I didn't get to see the testing done on the dyno, but we eventually saw it from those guys on video and had some awesome results. So today we're actually be testing on our own Bronco Raptor. A lot of people ask, what does the Whipple tune do? What do they change? There's a whole bunch of stuff that these guys do since they have full access to the PCM and TCM. They have pretty much every ability to flip the switch, make changes for things such as timing, more boost, transmission shift points, shift firmness, everything else. A lot of people also ask about driver modes. You know, when you flash a vehicle with Whipple's tune, what happens when you change drive modes? You go to sport mode. Actually, nothing happens. All of those modes still function just like it does from the factory. However, they are enhanced with that more horsepower, and more torque to them. The process using the Whipple of Tomahawk flash devices, when you plug it into your vehicle before you actually receive the tune from Whipple, you're gonna pull an REQ file, which is a request file. You're gonna email that over to Whipple. From that, they're gonna build your file and then email it back to you, which will load onto the device with the SD card and then flash the vehicle with it. Again, this is a full flash. This is not a piggyback module or anything like that. Both the computer and the transmission modules are flashed with the Whipple device. The Whipple device also gives you the ability to make changes for tire size, gear ratio, also allows you to data log the vehicle and shuts off that stupid auto start stop feature, which is pretty annoying. Another thing to mention is that the Bronco Raptor is a vehicle that uses over the air flashing from Ford. What that means is Ford can push updates to the calibration and other things over the air through Wi-Fi so that they actually don't need to be flashed through the OBD2 port. Now people wonder what happens after you flash Whipple calibration onto your Bronco Raptor and Ford runs an update. The answer is nothing. The over the air update will not change anything with the calibration from Whipple on the engine or the transmission. The only thing that actually really can change when Ford does an over the air update while you're flash with Whipple is some of those user preferences, such things as like radio updates, lighting updates, yada yada. But actually anything having to do with the calibration does not change from an over the air update by Ford. And one more thing to note before we strap this thing onto the dyno, this is a pretty much 100% stock Bronco Raptor. There are no performance modifications done to it. So we're gonna have a a great baseline to start off with. Just a catch can and some Vossum wheels on it. So let's head over to the dyno, do some baseline runs, see what it makes, and then flash it with the Whipple tune and make some power. Are you ready guys? We got our 2022 Bronco Raptor strapped down on the dyno at Palm Beach Dyno. We're about to do some baselines. Let's see what it makes. All right, guys, we just got the baseline down on our 2022 Bronco Raptor here at Palm Beach Dino. This is a Dino Jet. We made 296 wheel horsepower, 342 foot pounds of torque, SAE smoothing factor of five. Now, uh, this Bronco Raptor, again, is 100% stock, so those are the baselines that we have. Now we're gonna be flashing it with the Whipple calibration to see what it does. All right, we've got the tune loaded up here on the Tomahawk from Whipple. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in once the vehicle is on accessory mode. Plug it in here, the OBD2. You'll see the Tomahawk come to life. Tomahawk come to life here. You're gonna go ahead and go to programming. Once that pops up, if you don't see it pop up, you wanna double check to make sure that all of your files and everything that you have on the SD card are set up correctly per Whipple's instructions. Um, once you've got it all set up and it shows programming here, you're gonna go ahead and hit enter. Reprogramming software update. Hit enter on that. 
and we're gonna go ahead and start it. Vehicle's gonna start working its magic now. It's gonna start making dings and dongs. So like Jared said before, this is a full flash tune, although it still retains all the factory safety settings. So just in case something happens to where if you throw 87 in it, the knock sensors are still gonna work, it's still gonna retard the timing, and you're still going to have that safety and not have to worry about your truck blowing up. Now, of course, it is optimal to run at least 91 octane or your premium fuel for your area. Oh, it looks like it just finished up here. Let's see, please wait. Checking, checking, module programming complete. So now we can go ahead and start up the truck, make sure everything is right here, unplug the module, and then do our first run here on the dyno. First thing, fingers crossed. There we go. Whipple does it again. Whipple tune, baby. Yes, sir. baby. Woo! All right. Nice. Look at this. We got some awesome results with the Whipple calibration, guys. Here we go. That baseline again, 296 wheel horsepower, 342 foot pounds of torque. And it looks like our best run was right here. The blue line, 347 wheel horsepower and 394 foot pounds of torque. That's about 50 wheel horsepower and 50 foot pounds of torque on a hundred percent stock Bronco Raptor. That's a stock intercooler. Now, no one else has actually tested the Whipple calibration with that stock intercooler. We've seen some numbers which are a little bit higher, which we probably think are attributed to having that mega cooler from Whipple on there. But this is exactly what you're gonna get on a hundred percent stock Bronco Raptor with the Whipple calibration now. Look at that, look at that power rise right there across the board. You picked that up all through the RPM range. And also you can notice here on the back end of it, it looks like Whipple does have the uh, rev limiter, uh, probably about 2,500 RPMs higher than factory. That's where it was hitting uh, while it's on the dyno. But overall, awesome results from the Whipple calibration, guys. Again, we mentioned it's been raining all week here. Humidity is about 70% right now, so it's real musty in here and stuff. We know that affects the power that this car is going to make on the dyno, but awesome results. All said and done, I'm looking forward to take this thing out on the street and give it a ride because not only, again, is that Whipple calibration going to make you more power, this thing's going to shift better, feel better all around and still have all those factory features in place. Real world results from Whipple Superchargers, guys. We picked up 50 wheel horsepower, 50 foot pounds of torque on 100% stock Bronco Raptor. That's a stock intercooler, stock exhaust, just with the Whipple calibration and 93 octane. Not only that, the humidity is crazy today, all musty and everything else, and these numbers are real. Look at this. SAE smoothing of five. These are not standard numbers which are higher. This is SAE corrected. The numbers are fire. Good job, Whipple. You guys have any questions on the Whipple calibration for your Bronco Raptor, give us a shout. 561-753-8105. Mustang King, Bronco King, you know the deal. I'm out.